We are Wisconsin Robotics. We've worked hard to develop innovative approaches to each competition mission, and we're excited to present these advances in our 2024 rover, Nebula. To ensure Nebula's success, the mechanical team has maintained reliable designs from previous years. In addition, we made key improvements to enhance the performance of our drivetrain and arm. We began with our drivetrain. Our six-wheel rocker bogey system is effectively a suspension, keeping our robot stable and dampening impacts from rough terrain. The wheels are designed to be robust, with a shell 3D printed out of TPU filament for durability and grip on a wide variety of terrains. Our revamped manipulator can grab objects as wide as 7.5 centimeters and features a four bar linkage to improve clamping force. Claw pads made of flexible TPU filament allow it to conform to a variety of objects of different shapes and sizes. These improvements will be vital in our success in operating the joystick to direct an antenna as well as picking up and inserting the USB stick during the equipment servicing mission. We also have plans to replace the planetary gearboxes on our arm with custom cycloidal gearboxes that would significantly reduce backlash. The LEGO team's focus this year has been continuous improvement on trying to aspects of our existing LEGO system, including our communication systems, power distribution board, and perception and sensing operations. Our system utilizes a Raspberry Pi as our main onboard computer for electrical stability, alongside a Jetson Orin NX as a co-processor for its hardware-accelerated video encoding. This system provides our team with robust operation and stable video feeds with the capability to utilize four cameras at once across our rover. Our main mast camera boasts a quality of 4K 30fps video with under 100 milliseconds of delay from center to screen. For long-range communication, Nebula holds omnidirectional antennas while our base station utilizes patch antennas across two different bandwidths, 900 megahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. Lastly, our rover possesses reliable internal communication systems with improved CAN communication for the drivetrain, we use two separate batteries, one for logic and one for communication, and the other for motor power. We have also implemented a battery status PCB, which ensures the drivers know the state of batteries while operating the rover. For the 2024 season, the software team continues to provide robust and reliable software for the rover. To facilitate motor controls, the arm now features an inverse kinematics control scheme, giving drivers intuitive control of the arm's position and orientation in Cartesian space. The team has also integrated a control loop-based driving system to maintain precise joint positions under heavy loads. To tackle the autonomous navigation challenge, Nebula's software uses a finite state machine that cycles between navigation, search, and target approach states. The autonomous system uses a differential RTK GNSS module for centimeter accurate positioning when traversing to mission waypoints. During navigation, a LiDAR module on the rover is used to detect incoming opticals and avoid collision. Once the rover reaches the provided coordinate, the vision pipeline uses OpenCV to detect and lock onto a RUCO tag from up to 7 meters away. Nebula is equipped with multiple cameras able to take high resolution images of rock samples as well as a panoramic image of chosen sites with GPS tagging. To collect a sample below 10 centimeters, a unique drill design drills into the soil where a linear actuator opens to reveal a collection chamber able to hold a sample of more than 5 grams. A moisture and temperature sensor is attached alongside the drill to gather subsurface readings. After collection, the sample is stored in a closed cache for further analysis. Finally, a custom multiplex fluorometry system utilizes exogenous fluorophores that bind to DNA and protein samples and emits light proportional to the concentration of a target biosignature. This year, Wisconsin Robotics has developed a drone to expand on the capabilities of Nebula. Serving as an advanced scouting tool, this drone will play a pivotal role in the extreme delivery mission. Using a real-time kinematics or RTK module to acquire centimeter level GPS accuracy, the drone will navigate to the rock garden and scout the area by taking a series of photos that will later be stitched together into a large map. Once the drone finishes mapping the rock garden, the drone will help scout any treacherous terrain the rover should avoid as well as read any signs in the field or carried by astronauts. The team leverages several testing procedures to ensure competition readiness for Nebula. To test the dexterity of our arm, our team uses a test box that contains many of the equipment servicing and ERDM challenges such as switches, USB ports, and a keyboard. We use a 5 kilogram toolbox with a handle to ensure that the arm has sufficient carrying strength for competition. To evaluate our software's functionality, we use a variety of simulation environments such as Arvis. This platform allows for testing our LiDAR system without having to run the rover. The team tests full system functionality on the landscapes of UW-Madison, focusing on long-term distance communications and multiple drive environments. Mission simulations provide teleoperation, practice, and opportunities to test competition strategies. With our system design and preparation for the competition, Wisconsin Robotics is ready to tackle the 2024 University Rover Challenge.